This is Twit. Almost two thirds of this app block are are dev related because there have been some announcements in the past week that are devs and apps. So here's what we're going to talk about. First of all, Google announced to developers that a new feature is coming to Android that's going to allow for app archiving. And uh, I know what comes to mind when I think of app archiving. Uh, you used to have that phone, Ron, that that archived oh, apps when the right? next bit Robin. The next bit yep. Robin. There you go. It was very cool. So very, here, very cool. so here, what you're going to get instead of uninstalling an app. So I have an app. I'm not using it very much right now. I need to save space or whatever on my device. Instead of having to uninstall that app entirely and then lose my app data and that sort of stuff, users will be able to choose to archive the app instead. Google says users will be able to reclaim around 60% of the app storage temporarily by removing parts of the app. Uh, it can be reactivated easily. You can restore all that user data in the process. My guess is that the user data doesn't go anywhere. It's just you know components of the app do, but um, but that's just a guess. Uh, it'll be supported in a new archived APK format. That's capital A, mm -hmm. archived APK, a new format. Uh, Google says developers should be on the lookout for an upcoming version of Bundle Tool 1.10, a tool I've never used. Uh, maybe you have, Win. Uh, and uh, launch of this, uh, this feature is unknown, like they didn't give specific timing, but who knows, maybe we'll see it in Android 13. But uh, yeah, when what do you think about this? What, what are your thoughts on archiving versus uninstalling? Yeah, I know, I love this because, you know, especially with Android uh, application development, the kind of there's, you know, we, we on the show talk a lot about, again, <laughs> like flagship phones, the new hotness, kind of like yeah. always the new version of Android. But a lot of Android users are folks in emerging markets, are, you know, folks with like kind of lower resource phones. And so as developers, you generally try, if you can, it sometimes is impossible to make your APK, APK size as small as possible, to use up resources as, as little as possible, to use up storage. Storage actually is a really big one as well. Just literally like how much, how many like uh, gigabytes you can, like of, of actual like file storage on your device. All these things are really important. All these things are kind of like day-to-day -day thoughts and feelings that developers have. And I, I really like this idea a lot. Like for, for us, you know, th there's there's a lot of different things that come into play when you talk about trying to make the experience better for a user and use up less of their resources, like less of their battery resources, less of their storage, as I already kind of mentioned, and also less of their data cap. And something that we have found, and I think I did, I actually did a, an internal talk for my company once about this initiative called Building for Billions, which is basically the Android team and Google trying to say, hey, you know, emerging markets and are, is a huge you know, a uh, place where Android is mm -hmm. and developing for someone who has a low resource phone in an emerging market is a lot different than developing an app for someone who has 5G, constant connectivity, constant Wi-Fi on a big flagship phone. And so it's just a set of ideas and, and practices and thoughts and, and strategies you should keep in mind to make sure that your app works well on all ends of the spectrum. And so this is what really, this, this kind of thing actually really excites me because especially for places that have low connectivity and don't have a lot of Wi-Fi, like people will be using their phones offline or with low connectivity. And one of the hardest things is actually getting your phone onto someone's device, especially if you have a large size APK because it takes up a lot of data cap. It takes a long time to download this thing. And I think actually in the building for uh, building for billions, like kind of user gu or developer guide, they talk a lot about how APK size can affect you know, as if you're a developer and you want to kind of reach these emerging markets, the AP, your APK, APK size has a non, has a significant effect on whether people actually download your app. If they have to sit in an internet cafe for three hours to download your yeah. app, they ain't going to do it. No way. So, yeah. so this is just one way of kind of offsetting, you know, all of these challenges for people with constrained devices and constrained resources or people that maybe, maybe you're just, you know, you're an outdoorsy type person. You like, you know, going up your 14 years and you want to bring your phone with you. Uh, that's a little bit of an extreme case, but yeah, this, there's all kinds of cases where people just won't have connectivity and won't have, you know, all these resources. Yep. So I think this is really exciting. And I think that, you know, I mean, I don't know the actual numbers or behaviors on people, like when they decide, how they decide, what's say like the, I want to say recidivism, that's not the right thing, but basically people coming back to your app, if they have to download it for, if they have to uninstall it for like more resource reasons. But I think this is like a really good option for, for devs and, 
And maybe it'll be a way to kind of forgive us, forgive those of us that just have really big APKs. So I, I'm really excited about it. And it kind of makes a lot of sense kind of in where some of these themes in Android development um, run to have this. So I'm excited. I know in, I know in my own yeah. use, I, I run into situations like, like let's say a Starbucks app, right? Like I don't go to Starbucks very often, but every once, I, once in a while I do, I did recently, I installed the app, I, you know, got the points or whatever, and then I have no use for that app to be on my phone anymore. So I end up uninstalling it. But I, but then on the developer side, they run the risk of me not remembering to install it again, right? Right. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the, somewhere down the line when I might need it again. So instead, if I'm archiving it, then I still have that visual kind of reminder. Oh yeah, that's still an option. I just need the rest of it or whatever. So I can right. see that being a big benefit. It's, it's it's interesting. So, I'm, I, what makes me think of this is the I got hit with the Android 12. Uh, these apps permissions are going to be rescinded because you haven't used the apps in a while. Yeah. You know that message, mm -hmm. um, which is like halfway to archiving, right? Yeah. yeah. It's just saying that Absolutely. hey, you haven't been using you haven't been using this, so we're going to lock these down so they can't do anything weird or or anything they don't want to. But it's funny because like Jason, to your point, like. I, I don't uninstall those apps. So like, for example, I still have the Just Salad app that I use to get lunch went back when before the pandemic <laughs> two years ago, right? And, and I would use it to order my salad in advance and that sort of thing. I haven't touched it for two years and it's still sitting here. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, so it's like, it, you know, and, and who knows what other apps on there, you know, are on here that I'm just like Peacock. I downloaded it when it came out. Yeah. I haven't looked, I haven't, you know, I've used it on my TV. I haven't used it on my phone though. Right. See, I just um, removed Peacock because we had yeah. it only for the month of the Olympics. And then I started, yeah. I was continuing to get notifications and stuff. I'm like, I don't even have that subscription anymore. We canceled the subscription. We got our Olympics. So, yeah. you know, I ended up removing it entirely. Yeah. yeah. So those are like good examples though. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, I, w I, I would love what, what was great about what next bit Robin was is that it kept the icon in your app stuff. It was just grayed out. So you knew you still had it. Right. right? But, mm -hmm. but you, you, know, you could get it just with a tap, presumably if you have connectivity and that sort of thing. So I, I think there's a lot to this concept. So yeah. But. I was going to say Starbucks is like a seasonal app for me because whenever I come, like we don't really have Starbucks around us where I live in pumpkin Denver, latte. Just, is that, is this yeah, where exactly. you're going? Just, okay. No, no pumpkin lattes. Um, actually, my my husband is a huge coffee snob. I love you, baby. He just, we don't go near Starbucks normally, but when we're here, like here, like at my system or my sister's place, Starbucks is all we got. So I install my app, my Starbucks app every Christmas. And then we hang out here for a while. We get our Starbucks in the morning and then I uninstall it, <laughs> yep. which actually, and to your point, actually what's interesting is that whenever I install it because of the long download time, because they have all these graphics mm -hmm. and because I don't remember my password necessarily all the time, I sometimes just don't end up using the app and just pay like a regular person instead of using their app. So I actually think yeah. this makes a lot of sense, especially for, and there probably would be a lot of apps that are more seasonal or like, say you're traveling maybe semi-frequently and like you have maybe WhatsApp or maybe like a, a ride share that only works in certain countries. This makes a lot of sense if you're kind of semi-regularly using something, but only semi, like I, I love it. Yeah. Even, even that is pretty, is a pretty interesting use case as well. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. Um, well, and, and this is, you know, another one of those examples of, uh, uh, someone in the Android ecosystem, aka Nextbit Robin, doing something that we hadn't really seen before. And now yep. here, you know, versions yeah. later, it's coming into Android as a uh, as a first class app feature or citizen or whatever you want to call it.